Hey guys, Davin Lim, board certified dermatologist. If you want to know about vitamin C and how to use it and use it well, this video will summarize everything. So as a dermatologist, we see a lot of different skin conditions and we'll prescribe a lot of different vitamins for the skin as well as skincare. Vitamin C ranks as one of my top three ingredients, including retinol. So if you haven't checked out that video, check it out. I also highly rate skincare acids like alpha hydroxy acids, including glycolic acid and lactic acid. And third on my list is vitamin C or ascorbic acid. Now, when you look at ascorbic acid, you basically want to say, what is it that ascorbic acid can treat? Why are you choosing to use ascorbic acid in your skincare? Now, that's very important because if you have a skincare goal, basically you choose the necessary ingredients and skincare vitamins that will give you that result. Now, vitamin C can work in one of two ways. You can use it as a preventative agent, as nam namely an antioxidant, or you can use it as a corrective agent, in other words, to treat pigmentation. So look at it from an antioxidant point of view and how to apply it. First of all, the best forms of vitamin C is your L-ascorbic acid. So L-ascorbic acid ranges in concentration between 5% all the way up to 20%. Most companies will have a 10% formulation, a 15% formulation, and a 20% formulation. So here's a big hint. If you have super sensitive skin, for example, if you have suffered dermatitis, eczema, skin allergies, rosacea, or even things like acne where your skin barrier is compromised slightly, certainly start at a lower formulation. And remember, formulations matter. So it doesn't mean that you buy cheap, it's gonna be good, nor does it matter that if you buy an expensive formulation, they'll be better for you. So at the end of the day, you've got to understand the formulations. So start off with the 10%. Now, if you're using it as an antioxidant, you want to use it in the morning. As an antioxidant, vitamin C reduces UV damage. And how does it do that? It acts as a free radical scavenger. And what it does is that the UV radiation as well as environmental pollutants are absorbed by the vitamin C and basically that sacrifices the molecule itself and hence will protect your underlying collagen and cellular structure. Now, vitamin C is often combined with things like tocopherol, which is vitamin E, as well as ferulic acid. So for you skincare junkies out there, one of the best formulations include CE ferulic acid. So remember, this, this particular video is not sponsored but SkinCeuticals make a really good formulation of CE ferulic acid with their L-ascorbic acid at around 15%. So the bottle itself is super expensive. You're looking at about over $200, but you're using only a couple of drops. Now, that is a morning routine using vitamin C. Now, let's talk about the nighttime routine if you are after vitamin C for skin pigmentation. So if you're after vitamin C for skin pigmentation, what you should do is to actually apply it at night. So once again, the formulations range between 10 all the way up to 20%, and you can use that as part of your nighttime routine. So in this context, the vitamin C molecule basically inhibits an enzyme called tyrosinase, and tyrosinase basically produces melanin through a process of pigment production. So in this situation, vitamin C inhibits pigmentation. And unlike other actives, for example, like hydroquinone, long-term use of vitamin C has no ill effects. The only caveat with that is that if you have sensitive skin types, by all means, titrate it in. So much like how you use vitamin C as an antioxidant, start off with a low concentration, 10%, then build up to 15%, then build up to 20%. Some skincare lines will have vitamin C incorporated with other pigment inhibitors. And they include things like arbutin, kojic acid, you can have exfoliants like lactic acid, glycolic acid, and you can have botanicals, for example, like bearberry and licorice root extract. So once you find one of those um, formulations that inhibits pigment, you might see vitamin C there as one of the top ingredients that inhibit pigment. Now, last of all, I'm gonna cover vitamin C and its use in regards to collagen stimulation. So collagen synthesis itself, in other words, manufacture of collagen, neocollagenesis, is mediated partly by retinol, but also vitamin C can also act to increase dermal collagen. So you can use vitamin C as part of your nighttime routine with that. Last of all, guys, let's talk about how to use it in the potential interactions. Now, vitamin C is a very powerful molecule, and to increase the power of the molecule, 
what they need to do is formulate vitamin C in a very low pH. When I'm in the low pH, a pH somewhere in the low twos. And with this low formulation, it's more acidic than your already acidic skin, if you know what I mean. So this is why with vitamin C, some of the formulations can be skin irritants. In other words, it can irritate or flare up certain dermatoses, including things like eczema, rosacea, and if you even have acne, which is basically excoriated, in other words, if you're rubbing or you're scratching or you're picking, picking, that can cause an irritant reaction and hence make your skin worse. So in caution with that. So guys, that is vitamin C in a nutshell. You can combine it with certain things like vitamin E safely, niacinamide safely. You gotta use it in caution with retinol and you gotta use it in caution with your skincare acids, including AHAs as well as BHAs or salicylic acid. I hope you liked that short video. It's precise, it's to the point, and I hope you find it useful.